Hey guys, I wanted to try something new and I'm going to be trying out this pressure cooker from Gormia. Um, I've never used one of these before. I've always just used either a rice cooker to cook rice or my, um, my crock pot to make beef stew and chili and anything that needs to be slow cooked really so the thing with a pressure cooker is it cooks things it's supposed to be tender but it cooks it in like 10 15 to 30 minutes depending on how much food you're gonna make um so let me show you real quick before i show you the buttons and everything i just want to show you what kind of foods and uh, recipes you can make with this and this is a recipe book that comes with the um, pressure cooker so you have soup here you have another soup here honey balsamic glazed vegetables risotto chicken alfredo um, just roasted chicken Ribs, that's probably a good main staple you'd want to make in here. Um, meatloaf. Meatballs. You can make desserts, like cheesecake. And that's the end of that book, but you can find a ton of recipes online. Okay, so here's your buttons here. You got your preset soup button, meat, poultry, steam, saute, slow cook, dessert, beans, porridge, rice, and warm. So this is a rice cooker. I mean, I haven't tried it with rice yet because I just opened this now. But I can just use one device for everything and maybe I can uh, put my old rice cooker away and use this instead. So... It comes with a measuring cup, you have a spoon here, maybe for rice or whatever you're cooking. I'd probably use it for rice. I'm honestly not sure what this is for, we'll find that out. And it has another attachment here. So this is closed, so what you do is you, let me try my other hand, you spin it to open and then you pull up. This is there. You have that. It goes up. That's how big it is, how much it holds. And that's pretty much it. And then you see on the top, you've got your exhaust. So let's close that. And Hard to do with one hand. Okay, let me just show you. So you have the exhaust, and so you'd push that to the side, and it'd come out here. Then you can move this back to airtight. So when you open this after you're done cooking a meal, you want to stand back from it, and you probably want to turn it off and then put the exhaust on. So. Um, all the steam or air can kind of come up through there just to reduce injury. Uh, let me turn this around. Here's the cord. The cord comes out. Let's see. And okay, I can't really see it now, but you can plug it back in. That's how long the cord is. So you can, this makes it easier to store away. Okay. So I'm going to edit in another video and show you what I'm going to make. I'm going to make, uh, I'm just going to do simple chicken breasts with uh, salsa and see how that turns out. Okay, so I have, um, I put two chicken breasts in there and I added, um, Maybe about two cups of salsa with 
cup and a half of water. Not water. Um, I use beef broth. You can use water. But I figured to use something a little more flavorful. Um, I guess it's, it's supposed to dilute it a bit. And I added some cumin powder and some chili powder. And that's it. So we'll see how this comes out. It's cooking now. You see the timer. So what I did was I pressed poultry after I was done, after I put the lid in the closed position. And you make sure that this is on the airtight. And um, it stayed on the timer for a few minutes. So I actually thought that it wasn't working for some reason. So I was just kind of staring at it. And then I started listening. I put my ear up close to it and then I heard um, kind of like a simmering sound. So um, well now it's hot. It wasn't that hot before, but it doesn't get like super hot. So that's good. So the buddy will get burned. Um, so that was it. So basically push the poultry button. So we'll see what happens after this is done. 